far away. When I was a kid, I thought I'd never go across seas and other continents because they're so far away. And my family was telling me, like, oh, no, 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 the flight of more than three hours is horrible. And I thought I'd never go there. Somehow I just believed them for no reason. And now I've been across the world. Um, I think a sideshow for inspiration, and in particular Shane, the space cowboy, who told me that Animal French Festival is awesome and I will probably enjoy it. I kind of took it as a challenge a bit and decided to go two years ago. I love Australia. Second time, it felt like rain. I probably wouldn't want to live here because then it would be a dream, but right now it kind of is. And I'm pretty sure we'll be dreaming about going again for the next year. In most places I've been to, like, you can stay there so much longer to fully appreciate and enjoy them. So this time I didn't manage to swim that much. Last year when I uh, snorkeling, this year I've pretty much been in the ocean three times, and that's it, in a month. Um, which is a bit ridiculous. But on the other hand, last year I didn't get to see the outback, and this time I did. It's very, very beautiful. I was to have dived down. I wanted to. I've never tried scuba diving. I wanted to. I'm saying that we travel not to escape life, but for life not to escape us, which is true. I do feel like life is escaping me when I'm in stationary. I want to buy a few souvenirs. Um, and then I need to get to the hostel and go to the airport. Brisbane Airport has these really cool sculptures of traveling aliens. Yeah, I can relate to that. I kind of feel like this is what I actually am. An alien exploring the world. Yeah, sounds about right. has a Dalek suitcase. No matter how many souvenirs you get, you can never take a trip with you. Actually, I learned to like flying. You know, it's a fairly convenient cabinet to work. It's easy to focus and not feel torn to do um, everything else you see. Procrastinating here, yeah, do that all at home. And you don't feel like you're wasting your time because you're moving from one place to another, so you are on the way. You're doing two things at the same time. Maybe I'm just always in a hurry, I don't know. Also, you can watch some films. I ended up watching two. One, the new Disney Moana, which I'm actually very impressed by. Such an inspiring, beautiful story, and it made me curious about Polynesian culture that I never really thought of before. And the other one is Desert's episode from Planet Earth 2, BBC. Well, I always love nature documentaries, because I'm fascinated with the diversity of this world. I learned quite a few new things, and they are visually absolutely stunning. <laughs> 